trap. It's been a while. Welcome back to the Death Trap. I can't clap anymore. I'm doing my best, goddammit. New Year's resolution, clap like a girl. <laughs> New Year's resolution, success. I, I was going to say, you know what we named my New Year's resolution? Operation Success. Goddamn right, Operation dude. can't possibly fail. Did you do one? Did you do a resolution? No, but I did. I actually have something that I've been thinking about the last couple of days. What? I, uh, I ate fried chicken for lunch the other day. Mm-hmm. And then I proceeded to watch this documentary that was like, they, they, they pulled a fast one on me. Okay. Because it was a documentary about twins, and they gave twins different diets to see how it would affect them. Uh-huh. But then just in the middle of the documentary, they jammed in this like section about how the industrial meat industry is awful. And it was like all about chicken farms right after I ate chicken, and it like made me feel sick. And yeah. Now, now I like don't want to eat chicken. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You ever seen a... Like a chicken on a farm yep. that's not yep. like a chicken on a like a industrial farm. They're really they're small. not the same. They're small. Yeah, they're not tiny, but they're not. You can't feed a family of four. They they like, <laughs> like they like interviewed a farmer who stopped being a chicken farmer. Yeah, because he just was like these weren't bred to be animals. He said the sole purpose of these animals is that they were bred to suffer. I was just like, fuck. Dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that was going on for a while. There's that one documentary that was like real gnarly that got people to like Dude, get this... off of meat for a while. And it was it like showed all like the torture. It showed like the slaughtering. Is that new? The one you watched? I think it's new. It's on Netflix, but I That's think they crazy. recorded it during COVID because there's like they're wearing masks and stuff. Ah. Um But like, yeah, it was at least new to me. Huh. And I watched it, and yeah, I like went to a show last night, and people were like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Yeah, I ate some chicken." Like, was it bad? I was like, "No, it was just chicken." Dude, they're just it was a creature of Christ. <laughs> yeah, they put him in like a cage, and then like as soon as they can fill up the cage, they're like, "You're dead." So they Let's said that uh, uh, the amount of space it's like a warehouse. Yeah, and it's like I think it's like thirty thousand. So it's like thousands of chickens at a time. Okay. And the amount of space allotted to each chicken is a printer sheet of paper. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And then they learn that uh, that if they pump like a microdose of antibiotics into the chickens, it'll stop them from like getting sick. But then they're accidentally breathing antibiotic resistant bacteria by doing this. Because the only way they get sick is yeah. if it's like a super disease. And... Uh, also, like there was like a, th- also this documentary could be completely wrong, but I yeah. trusted it inherently. And uh, they said that like majority of antibiotics in the U.S. go towards like poultry and beef farms. That's cool. Which I actually I buy that, but I don't. I gotta check with my numbers guy. Am I? Yeah. So are we? When we eat that, are we getting? Or when we cook it, does all that get vaporized? Or is that like turning around and fucking with our immune systems? The way I look at it is if I bought a chicken breast, you know? Yeah. And I pissed all over it, and then I said, cook it, you'll be fine. Would you still eat it? Um, No, not once it's been pissed cooked. like that. No, it's I, I piss on it when it's raw. No. And then I Because that's like... Uh, I say you cook it. It'll I guess fine. a better... I mean, if I bred a chicken, and instead of water, I only gave it piss to drink, yep. would you eat that meat? Is it your piss? Sounds like it's everyone's piss. If it's your if piss, it's, I'd think about it. That's I would strong. think. That's good I would piss. consider it. I've heard your flow, dude. My uh, I've heard your flow. Speaking of my flow and my <laughs> age, dude, I uh went. We went ice skating at the Rockefeller thing, dude. Fuck you, me and the lady. We got, dude. She crushed it. She got the uh. So everyone goes in at like a cert, like the start of an hour. So you're skating, and like 15 minutes in, they're like, hey, everyone with this color sticker has to leave. So then everyone starts like getting off the ice. My girlfriend, she bought an hour long session. So, like, as we're going, like, there's like people getting out of there. So there's like fewer and fewer yeah. people. So it's like cuter and cuter. Turns out I'm a natural on the ice. Like, I belong on the Are ice. You're gifted? Yeah. I am like, oh, oh, oh this literally no, happened no. last time. No. They can wait. It's my dad again. It is, this could be the thing. I know. I'm so sorry. What's he got? Hey, what's up? 
Oh, hey, mom. Oh, Tara said Pulled thank you for the one. gift. Yeah. Joe's said thank you for the Christmas gift. We're doing an episode of the podcast right now. What's up? Oh, yeah. Just I'll send that along. I'll pay it. Or send me a photo. That's New York. Thank you. You too. Bye. Turns out I've got some tolls to pay in the city of New York. Yeah, don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Wake up? Wake up? They yeah. fucking charge you for everything. A fucking city. Yeah, dude, I had like a really good day this the is... other day. It was like nine o'clock at night. Can you hear this right now, by the way? Yeah. So what that is, is sometimes somebody will park across from the fire engine where you're not supposed to park, mm -hmm. and uh, they can't make the turn. Yeah. And this will happen at maybe four in the morning. So for those of you at home, I don't think you can hear it. There's just a loud fire engine just screaming because somebody's illegally parked. Boy, do I get it. That's fun when that happens at like four or five a.m. Yeah. Sounds like you just, love it. Yeah. No, it's a good time. That's New York. They're like, hey, we got to get one guy. So we're going to get all the guys. Yeah. Well, you'd be thankful if that was if you were sleeping in there. And I don't. It was your car. I agree. I agree. I'm like, they're doing the right thing. Do you ever look just to see if it is yours? Just to see? My car? Yeah. Just it's to be like, I know, it's did I fuck car. up? It would I, scare me. I it do, like, me. I will, if they go at it for a while, I will, like, look to be like, there's the piece of shit that exactly. woke up the whole neighborhood. And people will yell. Like, mm -hmm. other windows, people will open their windows and be like, fuck you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, That's the thing, is, like, you're mad at the fire truck because it's making the most noise, but you know... Who the fire truck's mad at? Yeah, the per they're gonna show up and someone's burnt to a crisp, and they're gonna be like, "Sorry, that Altima was there. Yeah, we couldn't do anything." Don's Altima was double parked. You don't worry. Someone yelled out their window at him, so you're somebody told him to go fuck himself. Yeah. We don't know if he did. Yeah, but but yeah, um, your dad. He, yep, yep. It was a fire. Tragic. We we had the truck. Rest in we power. Had, we had the whole truck. Had all the boys in it. God, dude, that'd be sweet if that's how you rolled up to like comedy shows. It's just like on a fire truck with the boys ready to do a show. I'm surprised. Like, if if you had Jerry Seinfeld money, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Hey, uh, just in case, because we're we're about to drop some heat tonight. Came prepared. I'd say that every time, how and it would get funnier every time. Exactly. Yeah. And like when like all the everyone's like. Why aren't we riding in like a nice camper? You'd be like, because that would take uh, away my opener. <laughs> You're gonna take away my opening joke about the fire truck. <laughs> You're gonna take away my three hundred and thirty thousand dollar opening joke. You're gonna take away my joke that could have gone uh, to a small town in need, but instead I had to do this bit. I wonder what the price difference is between like the most expensive Porsche and the least expensive fire truck. Fire truck, because he's Seinfeld's got to be able to get a fire truck. He has to. Well, he's like a car guy. He is. So in my mind, he has like an old decommissioned fire truck, like a sick one. You know what I mean? From one of like the, the old 1950s. Yep, yeah. With the it, ladder on the side. That yeah. Like, it's like wooden. It's a uh, fire truck, but it also somehow looks like a fucking spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Jerry Seinfeld. I feel like a lot of stuff looked cooler back in the day, but it was way more unsafe and inefficient to make. Well, like, so like old, I mean... Old cars. So two things that are like just about how unsafe old cars are. First, like, you know how when you crash now, like everything crumples. That's I was gonna talk about that. Fucking with the Tesla truck, dude. Old cars, the hoods wouldn't crumple. Yep. So like, if you were in a car that was relatively low, and you got in an accident, your hood would just come off its like hinges essentially, and just de decapitate whoever absolutely is in the front seat. Yep, dead. Well it, deserved. You it, know, you got an yeah. offender bender. You don't, don't deserve a oh, fucking going head. Thirty five. Exactly. And you didn't see that guy cut you off. Enjoy death. The fuck, are you doing with that head anyway? Not using it to break fast enough. But like, my grandpa got hit. Uh, he was like pulling out of a gas <sighs> station when he was young back in the day. Yeah, he was like in his thirties, I think. And he was pulled out, had an old timey car, no crumple zones, no nothing. Wasn't even going that fast, and like no airbag. And so he got in an accident, and it just went face first into the steering wheel. 
and like he had he had dentures for the majority of his life because it just knocked out all of his teeth. Thank God he stopped pulling out so that he could he could start a family and you could be here. <laughs> he said he pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't because <laughs> you're here. That's my grandpa, dude. <laughs> yeah. And if you'd have pulled if you'd have kept pulling out his whole life, so that probably taught him a good lesson. He probably went home and I like how the, this is the first episode back in a while and you're like, Yeah, I'll bring the heat. <laughs> you know what? Was you know what? We everybody just got back from the holidays. Let's all just think about our grandparents doing it. I'm good. Uh Huh. Um Do you ever I do have a fun holiday story for you too. Oh, okay. Good. What were you gonna ask though? Because I feel like it's related. Well, I was going to talk about the Tesla truck. Oh, uh, yeah. Go to now, that first. Now that that fucker's out and about, dude. Is it on the road? It's road legal? <laughs> yeah. There's, like, people have them, and someone literally got in an accident with someone, and, like, the one car got, like, destroyed. It's all over. It's, like, on Reddit and everything like that. The one car is, like, destroyed, and then, like, the Tesla trucks just, like, looks kind of fine, and everyone's literally, like oh man the truck's fine that's how you make a good truck in america and then every other comment is like hey uh just a heads up you kind of want crumble points in your car and in your frame and then they're like yeah the driver sustained serious injuries because of it i'm like you gotta yeah the eggshell didn't crack but boy was that yoke shaking up exactly i mean fucking it's it's very weird that he could be so smart and design like a really cool truck but never like look at like another car company's woes and be like maybe we should just learn our lesson from all them well my favorite thing about the cyber truck is he pretty much looked at the De- De- the delorean mm-hmm. and he was like oh that delorean we're gonna turn that into a truck deloreans looked cool but were a massive commercial and functional failure they're terrible failure. cars failure if it wasn't for back to the future that car would have a terrible reputation as it should zero yeah terrible reputation if it couldn't time travel <laughs> exactly if it couldn't go yeah if it couldn't go back in, in the time the delorean's a piece of shit it's still fun it's funny it's funny that that car can time travel and it's still a piece of shit yeah <laughs> it just, all they change is like well make it cool at least yeah the bug beetle bug oh, dude. doesn't need herbie but herbie makes it a little bit nicer you know gives it a little better story dude but Did you come in the delorean today? needs Back to the future. Did you come in today and say, I'm, I guess I'll just talk directly to Joe's soul? Yeah, I am. Damn, Herbie. I'm thinking about movie. it. Thinking about your soul this week. This I thought I had an energy drink and I don't. I have one, which is weird. I need a beer. Um, <sighs> Yikes. So, this is a... Uh, I think you'll appreciate this because you like dominance. Mm-hmm. I, I dominated somebody. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Who? Uh, so, I got home and you know how I like my record stores? Mm-hmm. I love going to the record store, and I went to the record store, like, the f- the exchange in Parma, Ohio. It's one of my favorites, and, like, you have your aisles of records, and I'm the only person looking at records in there, and okay. this guy comes in, starts looking, like, at the rack next to me. So, like, I'm in the middle of the alphabet. He comes in. I'm here. He's next to me. He's going faster than I am. Is he starting at the A's? No, he starts at, like, the fucking M's where I am. And so we're in the middle of the alphabet. It makes no sense for him to stand next to me, but he's not going the other direction. Mm. He's coming towards me. So he's going faster than I am. And he starts to like get annoyed with me and he'll like look at me or he'll like do this. And then he like starts going like, <sighs> like when I, when mm-hmm. he gets through one before me and then he just goes like, get, he gets through one, he gets through it before I do. And he just goes, <clears throat> hurry up. And, uh, the first thing I did that day was I woke up and I went and got Mr. Heroes and my guts are going nuts. Okay. And uh, I had a rumble brewing. So I like just literally looked up, looked him right in the eyes and just like borderline shit myself. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was like, if I just fart, I was like, there's no one around us. So I'm just going to fart and scare him. Yeah. And so I just looked in his eyes and like pretty much shit my pants and then just went, and then went back to looking at records. <laughs> and he just was like, <sighs> and just walked away. It totally, it worked. You I, won. I didn't even use words. Yeah. And I didn't shit myself. Double win. Close call, though. That's, 
hell of a way to deal with confrontation. I think it only works with strangers. Yeah, oh yeah, you can't. If you, if I did that with you, you'd laugh. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not like a way out of like. Were you were at the strip club with your boys all night? I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Why are we fighting? I also think that uh, just based on the fact that I didn't talk at all, and then just like stared at him, he may he might have thought that I was like a little touched. He might have thought that's how you communicate. Like that's like I was like at a touchedism. I don't know because I just kind of shit myself and was like, and then yeah, and then should have went- walked up to him again after he walked away, tapped him and and then farted it again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like just that's how you do it, dude. Just like look scared with the second time, be like, help, help. Good God! So you fight. won that fight, dude. It ruled. I felt so confident afterwards. That is an insane way to win. A I fight. called my brother and I was like, "You'll never guess what happened." And he was farted. like, "He was like, that's not what I would have done." <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, luckily you had one in the chamber. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, dude! It wasn't in the chamber. He just was next to me for so long that one, mm-hmm. one made itself available. It's pretty cool timing. Yeah. Sometimes the human body works in mysterious ways. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if it helped. You probably just got like so angry, like, angry too. That your yeah, body when I got probably everything tightened up. Yeah, and you just probably was squeezed like, out let's turd. get this fucker out of here. Yeah. It's time to defend the home planet. They did. God damn, dude. Well, that's cool. I know. It was, it was like my favorite part of break. Huh. Yeah. Kinda. So you won. I won. That's good. Everything else was good back home. Everybody doing good. All the locals, all the boys and gals doing comedy out there. Everything's the same. Same old drama. Same people are the same people. Same with my family. It's the same old shit. Everything's good, though. Dude, I'm going to call out. I got, a, uh, <coughs> I got a fucking... What's that called? The thing I got for Christmas? What are you doing? Are you just ripping? The air fryer? I got an air fryer. Nice. Yeah, it fucking rules. Yeah, I got this baby-ass cartridge, dude. This thing's like 40 50% on the THC. It's weak as shit. So I got to like, hit it a bunch. I got to hit it twice to get the percentage I want. No, that air fryer's sweet. That's going to come in handy. We got a big dog, my brother, Gary. Sent out some Omaha steaks, chickens, and we're gonna, desserts We're going to air stuff. fry the filet mignon. We the fuck are not. <laughs> Dude, those are no. That's why I pulled the burgers out for us, dude. Those fillets are air fry the burgers. Oh my baby, I'm gonna fillet those. I'm gonna eat them on the roof. I'm gonna you gonna fillet them. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm gonna fillet. I fucked up. I'm not even gonna try and lie my way out of that one. But, dude, I've been able to notice now on Facebook because it has the mutual friends thing. Mm-hmm. I can tell now when someone starts comedy back home. So there's some. Uh, yeah. I think there's a new girl that started comedy. All of a sudden, her and I have 80 mutual friends. And I'm like, never met this person in my life. It's all male comics. It's, it's so- I know there's a guy who just started comedy, and I haven't befriended him, and he's been doing comedy for a year. I have 36 mutual friends with him. All male comics. Now, why? I was why? about to say, if that was a dude. <laughs> huh. Now, what is the difference back in Cleveland when a female starts comedy... 80 mutual friends. There, there's, there's, no, 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 there's nothing different. We just have so much in common. We just have so much in common. I just saw it. I, I really just, wanted to be a friend. Like, we, we're just like friends because we both do stand up and we have a lot in common. Okay. Dude, and the best. We're just is, friends. The best is like the guys that will like start <laughs> like the guys. They'll give like the excuse of like are just like in case like she needs any like help or advice. It's like, yeah, but then why aren't you doing that with the guys? Yeah. Like dude. I get like, oh, just poor well, them. Can't figure it out we, without like, my help. We need more girls in the scene, and like I, you know, we just want to give her advice, and like, yeah, like, what, if she wants to kiss, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say no. But dude, I'm, I'm not gonna make her kiss me. If I'm on her page, I, I can fuck, I'll fucking protect her, dude. Dude, I'll if fuck I'm on her page. I'm stand up. I'll fucking, I'll fuck, I'll I, fuck I, you I up just, if you guys comment. Yeah. So okay, yeah, I like every photo she posts. Yeah. So, Why? Okay, I fucking. Fucking, fucking. We rode together to the open mic, and yeah, okay, I let her drink wine in my car. Who cares if she's 19? I'm not a piece of shit. You are. You are. It fucking, dude, I I am so sick of it. Like, every single time. I can tell when someone starts 500 miles away from us, and I'm like, oh, boom. 
Yeah. How do we have so much in common? Oh, let me scroll through all of your friends. Yeah. So I noticed that. That was. And a, then there's gonna be. A, I was like, because I was sorry, I was looking for the. Yeah. Looking back home because everyone was doing the um, 51st jokes. I so I was like scrolling through that. Uh, apparently, strength uh, crushed it. Because uh, uh, he went up there. <laughs> this is like what I'm just telling him you what he told me. Mm-hmm. But he went up there and I guess Bruton made a Bruton run. Jimmy and Bruton were running at and Bruton made a joke about how strength doesn't know how to dress. And uh, Bruton was wearing like a turtleneck and like a like a pantsuit. And strength what was like, why, then why do you dress like a women's basketball coach? And it like got a huge pop. And then he just danced and then did like the pussy looking sign. And then he just walked off stage. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> it's a fucking pro move, yeah, dude. He, he was like, he had, he's like, yeah, I had a joke ready, but you know. That's the better when joke. destiny calls. <laughs> yeah. That's the better joke. Yeah, I heard uh, Mickey got best joke. I'm not going to ruin his joke, but I think I lost touch with comedy because uh, he called me and we were talking about like like jokes he wrote. And he didn't ask me which one. He would never. That's not yeah, Mickey's no. style. But he like told That's me and like I style. said like I liked one more. Mm-hmm. And then I texted him today and I was like, hey, dude, how did 51st jokes go? He's like, yeah, I told the other joke. Like the one he liked, mm-hmm. and then he's like, "And I won best joke for fifty bucks." And I was like, "Damn, dude, I can't even help other people anymore." I'm like, <laughs> I'm not even fucking. I'm like, I don't know. I From used to, my- but but also in in my defense, I think I got like soft being out in New York because it was like a little bit more offensive. And I was like, "Dude, I wouldn't do that. I you're, wouldn't fucking over you're that." Not in New York, you're in Brooklyn, brother. I know. Oh yeah, Brooklyn, but. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you don't want to do that at a book. Do you? You're gonna get yourself get, killed. These kids are gonna hate you. And then it crushes back home, and I'm like, ah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Those people I, are, don't give a fuck. Not at all. Scoundrels, dude. You could probably say anything in that town right now with fucking Flacco in the playoffs. Joe Flacco. Yeah. God, I love him. Yeah, I have my opinions on the whole thing, dude. It's, so I went to the Jets game when I was yeah. in Cleveland, and. uh this is like something that makes me happy that you're going to just roll your eyes at. Yeah. So I wore, I didn't bring any of my brown stuff because I didn't know I was going to go to the game. Like my buddy. So basically my buddy uh, is an engineer and they had that thing where like a supplier got tickets to the game. But Clutch. then, but then like a bunch of his coworkers got sick. So he's like, we just have a ticket. And I was like, he's like, you just have to go. And I was like, done. That's so, all you had to do is just go. Yeah. He's like, we, you don't just like, he's like, so if you didn't go, you don't get to go. But if you go, he's like, you have to. Talk, that's all you have to do. You have to talk about tax once or something. That's nothing. Yeah, and so uh, that's sweet. Yeah, so we go, and uh, it's like everything's comped: beer, food, whatever, all comped. So I'm just like housing bud heavies. Uh, this one dude doesn't like the dude that's the supplier is like, I don't drink bud like I'm a man of principle, and I was like, you're drinking Mick Ultra, dude. You're not that principled. You know what I mean? What's the principle? That he's he just like, like, he's like, I don't want trans people in my commercials. And I was like, dude. Oh. Okay. That's nuts. But I was like, can I still drink, bud? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, all right. I'm just, that's all I'm going to drink all night just to make yeah. sure. Because I'm, I'm going to stand right next to you. And so I'm just housing bud heavies. And then like, I'm wearing my Parma hat. Because I was like, that's the closest to Cleveland stuff I had. And this guy behind me goes like, he taps me on the shoulder. He's like, hey, you wearing that as a joke? And I go. No. And he goes, Are you wearing the Parma hat to be funny? And I just was like already drunk. And I was like, Hey, I would never wear a Parma hat to be funny guy. I don't know who you think you are. And then he takes his wallet out and he goes, I'm a Parma cop. <laughs> he just, I was like, Oh. And he goes, He goes, I'm a cop. And I was just like, Okay. And he's like, so you're from Parma? And I was like, yeah. And this guy that's next to me is just yeah. like, he's, he's, he does comedy. He's in town. And I was like, yeah, it was whatever. And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, All right, you know, the, the mayor likes comedy. I'm friends with the mayor. He said there's some kid that does comedy from Parma. And I was like, that's me. No, and shit. he goes, what? And I go, there's a picture of me and the mayor. And he goes, so you, can we take a picture? And I'll send it to the mayor. And I'm like, yeah. So we take a selfie. We send it to the mayor. And then the mayor sends him the picture of me and the mayor. And I was just like, dude, I'm. I'm getting connected and more connected in Parma than I was when I lived there. That's insane. Yeah, it is. It, it made me so hat. happy. That's sweet. It's of a dumb fucking hat that I love. Um, 
But yeah, oh, Joe Flacco f- like played so good that game. He did. It, I literally got on the hype train. Like, yeah, I was like, oh, it's a free excuse to drink, and then I was there for like a half hour, and I kind of did go nuts. Uh huh. Yeah, it's nice to root for a team when they have a white quarterback. <laughs> it's really cool when a whole city jumps on his back. It's just really crazy how everyone all of a sudden likes the guy that's not a rapist. Likes yeah. the not a rapist again. You can't say okay. that. Not even sex inc- criminal. Sex criminal. Smooth criminal. If you want to wow. be fair about it, Porn it's smooth, crazy. Man. You get a white guy, and all of a sudden, the whole city loves him. I just a guy named Joe. <sighs> I know. Now, I've been rooting for the Browns all season, and I'm just happy that uh, Deshaun Watson's not at the helm going into the playoffs because now everyone can jump on board with me. I fucking use their defense in Madden. They have some of the beat. That is the biggest shame, I will say, is that the Deshaun Watson thing puts such a damper on like what could have been because they could have won with almost any couple of – I get Joe Flacco special. But you could have put a couple of veterans back there. And then, you know who they're playing in the playoffs this week, Joe? No. I actually don't. The Texans. We're playing our draft pick? We didn't need that fucking dude on the team. I'm not going to say he's a rapist, but he's goddamn close, dude. But we didn't need him. He's just drama. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. They have a 56 56- million dollar drama like it's and then they're playing the team that they traded so like if if we if the browns beat the texans it helps the texans get a better pick because they have the texans completely won this they don't have like yeah yeah god dude you could have just had they'd really beat us because they have our picks too. Yeah, I I think the Browns are gonna uh, fuck up during the playoffs. Like not fuck up in a bad way. I mean, like fuck the playoffs can, up. Can I, I make... really want to see AFC Championship? Hey man, Ravens Browns. Yes or I no? I want to see just Browns Super Bowl. That's all I want. No. Yes. I don't want them to get bangled. What? Like what happened to the Bengals when they got there? Just to like play the Ravens. Joe Flacco's the... won a Super Bowl though. He knows what he's doing. I know, but. Do you remember that game, dude? They got... Dude, it's going to be fine. It's literally... Trust me, it's going to be fine. We're going to win a Super Bowl. Can we, also, look, can we look up the playoff bracket? Can I make a death trap promise, too, to the, to the listeners? Oh, yes, please. If we win a Super Bowl, we'll have Joe Flacco on. That's a promise. Joe Flacco, if you win, we will let you sit betwixt us, and we will do a Joe, Joe, Joe interview. So that's you, Joe Flacco. Win a Super Bowl. We'll, we'll take you. We'll bring you back to New York City. Better yet, we'll come to Cleveland. And then we'll do a Joe, Joe, Joe death trap podcast all about Joe Flacco. And we'll let you be in the room when we personally fire Deshaun Watson. Yeah. We won't let him down easy. You shouldn't be on the team. You should have never been on the team. I fucked around all season kind of half defending you, but you're a piece of shit. That's our money and we want it back, you bitch. This is technically season two of the death trap because it starts in January because I just made that up. And guess what? Season two, we're being a little bit more honest to Sean Watson. I'm not going to defend uh, you anymore. Even if it is fake, you're a fucking piece of shit. And I was never going to defend you. So you're just still the same in my books. But what he said, I did it as a joke, but fuck you to Sean. You well actually don't because I don't he's a weird sex pervert. But just it is, it piss is, off. You know what is sad, and I hate to bring it up because I know it makes you uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But it is sad that there's like a guy out there, you know, who's like, well, I can start rooting for the Browns again because they got a white quarterback, and they're like, well, the other guy oh. did all that stuff wrong. He's like, what other stuff? He's like, it's just and you're like. Damn it. It's just racist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There's yeah. going to be that guy. But uh, I'm excited. I am truly excited that I get to root for that team again. Out loud. There's, there's, uh, sa- dude, I, I started wearing like my sweater again in New York. Right? Yeah. Oh, there's so much. Remember when we moved? There's a podcast episode where I said, I feel weird From telling jump, people. I, was done. I said, yeah. it feels weird rooting for him. I'm still I going to, but it feels weird. So I'm not going to tell everyone that that's what I'm doing, but. God damn, that defense is stout, dude. The defense I, is stout. I fucking love those boys, man. Dude, Joe Fla- 
There was a guy at the game who was wearing a uh, helmet that it was like a World War II helmet, and it said Flacco's Italian Army. And I was like, wow, this is a, you're Italian, right? Big day for you guys, too. Big day for us, I guess, huh? Big day for anyone that eats pasta. <laughs> yeah. Big day for us. Uh, they they benched that uh, the Giants quarterback, DeVito, because he doesn't take uh, the NFL seriously. <laughs> Wait, really? I mean, yeah, you mean the, the fucking guy at like the spaghetti shop isn't taking his NFL job seriously enough? Dude, it is. We, <laughs> He's taking like ten thousand dollar like side gigs to be like a spaghetti, and they're like. <laughs> My favorite thing about that entire saga with him <laughs> is that his manager looks like the most stereotypical Italian manager. A hundred percent. Devito started like for what four games? Okay, yeah, and like. And his manager got inducted into the Italian American Hall in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> like they saw four pictures of that guy on the sideline, and they were like, "We gotta get this guy in and hit it." It's a very short list of the Dude. people that could be on the um, Italian American Hall it's of Fame. It's just him that, and Chef Boyardee. Say, it, like finding Joe a Namath. great Italian American who didn't kill someone to get there. But enough, that's hard. Enough time passes. Like you can't tell me posthumously Al Capone's not in that. Yeah. Yeah, they love them. They're like, that's our heritage. Yeah, dude. Crime. We did crime the right way when there was honor in it. Dude, God, this, Italians, I fucking... That's... What? Becoming my favorite Donald Trump line is he's like, you know, Al Capone, the greatest gangster of all time, he got indicted once. I got indicted 91 times. <laughs> 91 times and i'm like no dude that makes you the goat like you don't have to keep giving al capone credit you could just yeah but he's like what happened I got, and he's like boy if my parents could see me now he says that yeah Did i'm you see really enjoying it from yesterday <laughs> what one it was like do you know how there was a shooting relatively recently <sighs> you can't see just bear with me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like mid laughing, and you're like, you know, there's a shooting, so like on tape, it's just yeah, no, I'll, that's I'll, a, I'll, that's, and I'll edit it that way. I was gonna say that's a good reel for you, dude. It's just you know, there's a shooting, I can't stop. Stop laughing real quick, just so I can get some side footage of me doing this. <laughs> just looking at the camera and being disappointed. <laughs> just do your gym. Oh, yeah, dude. God. Uh. No, what were you, oh, so dude, he he gave a talk about the shooting that happened, and he literally is like, "It's sad, so sad, the saddest, unbelievably sad, so so sad, so devastating. How could this happen in this red state? We don't know. So sad, but we need to move on. <laughs> Let's wrap it up." He just goes, "We've, but you got to move on." Yeah, dude. Dang. Yeah, that's like the one thing those people are not ready to do yet. What talk about move on the guns? Yeah, no, yeah. ain't nobody moving on from nothing, dude. It's about to be a long ass year, dude. It's about to. We have till November. It's a gonna be a nutty, nutty. It's a leap year too. And Joe Biden's just like sundowning harder than ever, dude. He's passing a lot of good shit, bro. Dude, he's he's passing a lot of good shit, but like every interview, it looks like. <sighs> It looks like a Mad Lib where you just, instead of, like, filling in the blanks, you just put dot, dot, dots. You know what I mean? No. I don't know what you mean. Hey, did you see the one he did the other day? It's rough watching him talk. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. You don't think it is? No, he's an old man who has a stutter. What's hard about watching a super old man? They're both hard to watch. I'm not, like, pro-Trump here. Uh, of course he's hard to watch, dude. He's a he's like an 80-year-old man, and he's had a stutter his whole life, so yeah. it's just getting, like, worse, worse and worse. Yeah. So now you're like, are you forgetting what you're going to say, or are you just, like, taking the scenic route there? Like, the, the, yeah. The, and you're like, damn it. I did, I'd made fun of a stutter. Taking a drive through the park, for sure. Yes, he's, he's taking the scenic route, but it's quite the view on your way there. Yeah. You're like, oh, there's the same word eight times. Oh, oh, what a drive. Sorry. I get into politics, and this is about to be a crazy 11 months for me. That's going to be bad. I know. I'm about to lose a lot of karma on Reddit, dude. I'm about to get in so many arguments. I'm about to really get into it with my dad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to have to literally use my old, like, COVID uh, Reddit. Yeah. It's just, like, the only one that's allowed on, like, all the other side's pages still. There was a, when I, like, my rule when I go home to Cleveland is I just don't read the news. 
Yeah. Because I'm already, it's just so much happening anytime I'm home. Like, I feel like I get four hours of sleep every night. And it does help. And I'll come back to New York and I'll be like, what did I miss? And it's just never mm-hmm. good. Yeah. They're yeah. never like, hey, uh, billionaires decided they want less money. Yeah. It's never. Billionaires drove on road, realized they're not the ones that build it, Every- should pay other people for contributing to society. Yeah. Every billionaire piles in a cyber truck crashes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, how many Also, there's like safety stuff you have to do. How did the cyber truck pass that? I have no idea. I really want to know how that thing like passed like but or like are there res- are there like laws against certain vehicles it's like anything not where you pass? Can... There's got to be some loophole something. He's just paying the government off probably. Dude doesn't have like he doesn't like the look of caution tape at uh, SpaceX, so there's no like caution tapes like around, or there wasn't, because he doesn't like that the way it looks. That's super dangerous. You can't do that. I mean, the dude went on television and was like, "Fuck my shirt, fuck the advertisers." When your main income is from advertisers, advertisers. I just want to say, I don't. Our advertisers, cool as shit. The best advertisers. I would never say fuck you guys. You guys are the coolest. You guys are definitely not Deshaun Watson. Yeah, unless Deshaun Watson is one of our advertisers. My God, fuck you. What a mess we would be. What a mess. (laughs) Yeah, literally. Like, what if the next, like, in thirty seconds from now, I'm just reading the ad. I'm like, (sighs) our sponsor today is yeah, yeah, Deshaun Watson. You're just doing copy. He saw the last episode and said, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. The <sighs> he thought, I'm going to use some of my $200 million guaranteed dollars and I'm going to make them read an ad. Some of the already $56 <laughs> million dollars that I've made playing four games of football and give it to these boys. Dude. Dude. We're crushing the first episode back. I knew we would. I knew we would, too. We don't need practice. Practices sh- for schmactus. You think we should ever release the practice episodes where we get out all of our racist uh, words? So <laughs> don't, that don't say that. We don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Whenever we do a mic check, you're always like, all right, let me get mine out. And I'm like, okay. The- it's called a practice episode. Every time we do a mic check... It's me singing a song, but I replace every lyric with, like, piss or shit or cum. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's pretty good. I, I almost put just... out the one. I think there's one episode that I put out the, you know that song by uh, Stone Temple Pilots? It's plush. Mm-hmm. It's like, when I see the dog begin. There's, like, one episode where I, you, you were getting ready or something. And maybe, maybe I think you were messing with your hair. Because you were like, oh, I want to look good for the cameras. Um, my name is Joe. My name is Joan. I want to look so good. Oh, I'm so <laughs> self-conscious. I, my name is Joe Graham, and I just want to look good for the camera. I want to look so handsome. Uh, I want to be a pretty little boy for the please, camera. Will you sing your song? I'm just a little boy. I'm just, I want to look so pretty for the camera. My name is Joe Graham. Oh, I just got to I got to figure out how to sit so I sit so if, pretty. It, this hurts. I don't know how you do this. My knees weren't made for it. This? I do. We have received comments that Joe does set like a pretty little boy, which is like I don't know what it means, but it's very funny. Yeah, someone <laughs> someone just straight up said, I "Asked why I sit like a girl," and I was like, "Well, I think I sit however like I get like once I get yeah. comfortable. I don't know like what's wrong we, with just being like, oh, I'm comfortable right here. So like, why do I have to sit like how like a man would? We I got want to sit like a man. We've got you sit like a girl, and we and you sit like a pretty little boy, which <laughs> is very funny to me. Do sit like a pretty little boy." <laughs> You know, like a duke, like a duke. I'm just at home like this, like a duke's son. Did your camera shut off? Yeah, battery died. Good God! Yeah, I haven't charged it in a while, and I forgot to charge it today. So Not bad. We got your camera. We did run some hot, hot heat through it. I know. It, well, she only takes so much. She can. Plus, <laughs> plus the stand-up I've been putting on her. Jesus Christ! I'm burying her alive. Oh God. Ugh. You've been putting a lot of hot stuff on there. Yeah, dude. God. Yeah. I've been putting fucking dog shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Same. Fuck yeah, dude. Same, dude. The yeah. jokes ain't what they used to be, brother. Dude, did I, t- I don't want to say it. On, I'll tell you later. Right. It's. I think it's an actual story. I don't think it's like a, uh, okay. a podcast story. I mean, it's funny, but it's... You know what I mean? They don't need it. They've gotten enough. Yeah. What a... What else? 
I wrote a song, but I kind of forgot it. But it was funny. I can try it. I don't know. We have four minutes. We have four minutes. Let's try yeah. it. I think it was. You have to hold the microphone up for me. Let's say, is this a song I can help with, or what do, no, I, what do you no, need from me? It's at you. What do you need? I just need you to hold the microphone up. Give me the microphone. This is a. This is new death trap technology. So I don't know. This is hopefully it works. Ready? Oh, something's okay. working. Okay, what's it? I miss you when you're away When I'm home alone I get so sad Like when you're back Cause I have a friend And I don't sit alone and get real mad And when you go to sleep and you go to bed I climb into your room and I watch you sleep Yes, I sit in your room and I look at your body lying there And I say I am his God And I look at you there And I smile and laugh cause I'm in control And you're not at last I pry open your eyes I say look at me I could kill you if I wanted you see I am a sleepy little boy and I'm filled with rage I could kill my best friend but I won't cause I'm watching him sleep and I'm glad he's back and Merry Christmas Happy New Year's I love it (laughs) I love it I love it I love it I love it No, I love it. I do have a critique. Yeah. I love the words. I loved it. <laughs> but I think because you were doing a song, I think you kind of went into like a... Uh, I sounded like I was frolicking. It sounded like you were doing Adam Sandler. Oh, really? I think on the listen to the playback, or maybe it was just mm. my ears. No, I think But God, right. those words were beautiful. Nice. That was everything I ever wanted it to be. Thank you. I'm glad you're back. Good. I'm glad I'm back. I've been, I've been cat sitting for two weeks. Yeah, I've been in Cleveland. He's been casting. God, dude, that was... Wow. I think it's off. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's off. It's no Rachel getting off the plane, but that was good. <laughs> dude! Speaking of, so you know, uh, here's an update that you'll like. You know how um, you know whenever Tay is in town, yeah. I have to watch more episodes of The New Girl, and I can't... Oh, I, I don't, I don't watch girl. it so without good. her, because so she likes to watch me cry. And uh, just got to the part where CC and uh, Schmidt are like getting and get like the five dollar pass off. Like I'm about to say something stupid. We're gonna get married, girl. Oh, oh my god! She watched me. I broke down for like <sighs> ten minutes, dude. I couldn't like compose myself. I'm getting yeah. I got like beat up after that. So let's see. That's I want to say that song was in between Rachel getting off the plane. And CC and Schmidt, I would say it's emotionally for me. I hope it came through on the recording. This is new death trap. It has to. It has to. I had this mic. I was trying to keep this one close, but not disturbing. It's plugged in. Oh, okay. Cool. See, we got new tech. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. But now that we have the guitar, we can like start like strumming, and we can can do like some little freedom songs. Yeah. Yeah. Some freedom songs. Yeah, dude. Donald Trump is my god. (laughs) Dude, we can make like the freedom Freedom album. We should just, yeah, end every episode with a little song. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I would do it. That was beautiful. We'll do listener requests. Obviously, Maria gets first dibs. Can I tell you real quick? Yeah. That I, the time that my old roommate uh, said that uh, if he was sleeping, he would hear me come in and we were drunk. And I was like, no, you wouldn't. So I. You told me. Yeah. I, yeah. I went into his room. While he was That's sleeping. what inspired this. Yeah. I went into his room while he was sleeping. I took a picture of him and I just stood there and I just like sent him a picture of it in the morning and I was like, you didn't see me. You didn't see shit. You didn't fucking hear me. <laughs> and I fucking got him good, dude. And then I was like, oh, wait, I think that's actually makes me look like a bad guy. Hey, dude, he he made the claim. Yeah. Don't make a claim if you can't back it up. Yeah, that rules. Season two, Death Trap. Viking Thank you. Videos. 
Trap.